you all can see me. Good morning. How are y'all doing today? Thank you so much for joining us. It is Monday. It is 8 a.m. and we are gonna get a bit this on. I have Tiffany with us in studio. I have Claire with us in studio and all you home viewers at home who are out of studio, but you are in studio in our hearts. Okay, let's get this party started. What do you need today? You need either a dumbbell, a beautiful double bag. Can we can we see what's going on here? Like camo, 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 camo? Can you even see her? I don't know. I mean, got it? Perfect. Thanks, Stephanie. And then we have a bag. This is a fancy bag. And as as we've talked about the last couple of days, you can put anything in your backpack. You can put water bottles, you can put weights, you can put canned foods, yoga blocks, you can put rocks in your bag. Anything, everything that's gonna make it heavy and or light, depending upon what you need. So for today, we have a five-minute AMRAP as many rounds as possible for your warm up. I'm gonna have these lovely ladies demonstrate. I'm gonna step out of frame, so watch, <laughs> watch the bag. So Claire is gonna demonstrate reverse lunges. This is movement number one. We have eight reverse lunges, and she's just gonna start reverse lunging now. This is one way that you can do your body weight lunges. Thank you. Tiffany's gonna do forward lunges. Just stepping forward, getting your knee to gently touch the ground. Thank you, ladies. Your next movement is a press. So grab your weighted object, and you are going to press it overhead. Biceps with your ears, feet underneath your hips. Beautiful. Go ahead and put that down. The final movement in your warm-up are mountain climbers. Ladies, they are going to get in a high plank position. First, they're going to start nice and slow, pulling right knee to right elbow, left knee to left elbow. Then if you want to speed it up, go for it, ladies. You will start speeding it up. Thank you very much. Okay, so for your warm-up today, you have eight alternating body weight lunges. That is four per leg. You have six presses with your object and then ten mountain climbers. And you will do this for five minutes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Grab your weighted object. Go ahead and stand up. I've got my lunch ready to go. You're starting with body weight lunges, eight of them going in three, two, one, go. Eight body weight lunges, four per leg. This is a warm up, so start slow. After that, grab your weighted object. You have six strict presses. What you're looking for, feet right underneath your shoulders. But nice and tight, squeeze it. Pull the rib cage down, press straight up overhead, bring it back down. Straight up overhead, bring it back down. After you do six of these, you have 10 mountain climbers. That is five per leg. Decide if you want to go nice and slow, or if you want to speed it up, it is completely up to you. When you're done, do it again. Eight alternating body weight lunges. Mm -hmm. Three. In through your nose, out through your mouth. As you start to get more warm, you can move a little bit faster. After your eight body weight lunges, you have six strict presses. If a weighted object is not available to you, then just air press. You are still moving. You are still circulating the blood in your body, and believe it or not, you're getting stronger going through these body weight movements. 10 mountain climbers, did it. Guess what, you are 90 seconds in. Woo! 90 seconds, keep going. Eight body weight lunges in three minutes. If you want to switch it up, if you want to go from forward lunges one round to reverse lunges the other round, you can absolutely do that. It is completely up to you. Change it up. 
If you are at home and you want to walk around with these lunges, go for it. You have six strict presses. Pressing it overhead, bringing it back down. Yeah, let's turn so we can get these beautiful, lovely ladies in view. Good. Pull the ribs down. Yes. Reach up. Bring it back down. All right, Tiffany's moving to her mountain climber. She's got 10. Claire's moving to her mountain climber. She's got 10. You at home, you've got 10. Here we go. Stand up. Back to your body weight lunges. Yes. Oh, I like it. Claire's changing it up. She's going forward. Tiffany's going backward. I love it. Can you, you can see her, right? The camo. It's starting to come through. The sweat. She's glistening. Good. Okay, you are a little bit more than halfway there. Good. You have your six strict presses. Now, after this warm up, if you're thinking, whoa, I chose wrong on my object, <laughs> you can get a different object. We can make it heavier, we can make it lighter. 10 mountain climbers coming up. You got this. Making sure that you breathe in through your nose out through your mouth, and more importantly, that you work at your own pace right now. We do have a workout after this. That's where we're gonna rev it up. You're trying to get your body moving. You're trying to wake it up, get it a little, little bit more fluid, and warm. Guess what? 90 seconds left. Woo! Nice. All right, so final minute of this warm up, we'll start to speed it up just a little bit. Maybe you start to breathe a little bit heavier. You start to sweat just a little bit more. We're gonna find out. You have one minute and 10 seconds left in this warm up. Start getting your mind right. Set it up and move just a little bit quicker. One minute to go. You're doing amazing at home. Keep breathing, keep moving. Start going faster. Here we go. Let's go, a little bit faster than you wanna go. Push it, good job ladies in studio. They are good. After these lunges, they have those strict presses. Here we go, it's gonna be up and down, and up and down, and up and down. Nice, fast, it's still controlled, and they still have very good form. 10 mountain climbers when you were done, you have 25 seconds to go, here we go. Let's finish this round and start another. As soon as you're done with your 10 pound climber, hop up, go in. Body weight lunges, 15 seconds, here we go. It's down and up, it's down and up. As soon as you finish your eight one, grab your object, your backpack, your dumbbells, press it overhead. You have five seconds, keep going. Three, grab it, two, get one in, one and time. Give yourself a high five over and over again. And grab some water if you'd like. I'm gonna do that myself. Sure. And then we're gonna talk about the workout. Okay. okay. Take a seat if you need and just breathe. Your workout today. It is a 10-minute AMRA. As many rounds as possible for 10 minutes. Working in sets of three. You will start with three up-downs with a tuck jump, then move to three object push presses, and then three object front squats. Once you are done, you start back up at the top and do six up-downs with tuck jumps, six object push presses, six front squats. Nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, you keep going up for the 10 minutes. Yes! Okay, let's talk about movement number one. We've got a, an up down with a tuck jump. There's three different variations for this. I'm gonna have Claire show you what they look like. So first she's gonna do an up down. So just do an up down. I'm gonna stand right back up. Perfect, that is part one. You've got to add a tuck jump in today's workout. So Claire's going to show you an up down with a tuck tuck jump. Go for it, Claire. Up down, tuck jump. Yeah, yo. Pulling your knees up into your chest, landing with a slight knee bend to absorb your impact. Give me one more of those, Claire. An up down with a tuck jump. Beautiful. 
beautiful. If that is not in your workout today, level two, we're going to take it down a notch. It's going to be an up down with the jump squat. Claire's going to show you two of them. Go for it. Here's her up down jump squat. And she's going to do one more because she's awesome. Up down jump squat. Beautiful. Okay. Final one. It's an up down with the squat toes. Claire, show us what it looks like. Up down, squat, come on your toes. One more, please, ma'am. Up down, squat, come up to your toes. Those are your modifications for the up down into the tuck jumps. Tiffany's going to show you the object push press. Much like the press you did in the warm up, you were going to add a little bit of a knee drive. Here we go, the knee dip drive. Give me one more. Dip drive. Tiffany, you can turn to the front. And then show our viewers at home what it looks like from the side. Go for it. Dip. Drive. One more, please. Dip it into and drive. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Your final movement is an object front squat. Tiffany's going to show you two at this angle. Go for it. Notice how she's holding her object. You can hold it this way, this way, this way, any way you want. Tiffany, go ahead and turn to the side. Watch how low she's going. Hips below the knees. Wow. One more. Beautiful, thank you, ma'am. Okay, at home viewers, it's time. Grab a quick sip of water. You need to write down the rep scheme. If once you start working out, the brain goes off, write down three, six, nine, 12, 15. Keep adding threes to these amazing movements. You have 10 minutes to get as many rounds as possible. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? All right, here we go. 10 minutes. Get yourself ready. You have up downs into a tuck jump. Three of them going in three, two, one, go. Up down into a tuck jump. Three. Beautiful. After that, you are going into your push presses. It is a dip drive. It's a dip drive. And then it's another dip and drive. Hold on to it. Go into three front squats, hips back, knees out. Once you're done, put your object down. You have six up downs with a tuck jump. Remember, if tuck jumping is not happening, you can jump squat, you can squat and come to your toes. Good movements, even when you're fatigued. Moving through everything with grace. With control. That's okay. It's okay if you forget what number you're on. Do two extra just for good measure. You have your push presses. Then drive. Then drive. Let's hear it for growth. My tree up in the house. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you're getting your sweat on with us. After your push presses, you go right into your front squat. The cool thing about those two movements together is you don't have to move your object. You're hanging onto it so you can move quickly right through it. All right, Claire's about to hit nine up downs. So is Tiffany with tuck jumps. Counting is important, right? If you need a breather, do what Tiffany's doing. Do an up down squat, come to toes. Catch your breath. And then when you have it, you can go right back into your tuck jumps. I'm going to turn the music up just a little bit louder for them. Viewers at home, turn on your favorite jams and let's get to fitness. Oh, yeah. Keep it up. Come on. Guess what? You're two minutes in. Two. Keep going. Uh huh. You got this. Good. Watching them for motivation. They are pumping me up. Good. Body weight back on your heels on these front squats. Push your knees out to make room for your hips to get down low. Whatever you want. 12. Now she is. If you need to on these up downs, watch me from behind. 
you can step back. Stand, come up your squat and toes. If the heart's going way too crazy right now, take it back a notch. Wait for it to slow down, and then you get right back in. The key is that you are moving for a full 10 minutes. Good. Grab your object, Claire. Here we go. You got your push presses. Beautiful. There we go. Just keep breathing. Keep moving. And enjoy this. You are still getting fit while you're at home. Maybe you're doing this at work. Maybe you're at your parents' house. Have them join in. No excuses, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Tiffany's doing awesome. She's breathing so good right now. I can hear it. I can feel the heat. Good. Tip drive. You got it, girl. Tip drive. Good. A great place to catch your breath are during the front squats. Nice, slow, and controlled movements so you can slow the breathing down. The tuck jumps are gonna get your heart rate elevated. Push presses, just a little, right? You're gonna get your heart rate elevated. You're jumping. You're being active. It's okay if you're out of breath. It's okay if you're a little bit uncomfortable. You will get stronger. You are getting more fit. You got this. Keep it moving. Keep it grooving. Keep breathing. Tuck jump. Good job. So if you notice, Claire and Tiffany are at different parts in the workout. And that is absolutely okay. They are moving at their own pace. And that is something that you want to do. You always want to move at your own pace. You're doing amazing, Claire. You're doing amazing, Tiffany. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Come on. Guess what? You're a little bit more than halfway through. Mm -hmm. You're five minutes and 20 seconds in. Let's get it. I'm going to move this up so you can see Claire's awesome face. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, come on. Keep moving. Come on. Let's go. All right. I'm going to come give Tiffany some pointers because I care about her that much. Okay. Keep going. So notice in her plank, keep moving on the top as you move. Shoulders are a little bit behind the wrists. We want shoulders in front of the wrists. So I'm going to have her push her head forward just a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Awesome. She is sweating so much. Oh, Are you yeah. sweating at home? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. All right. Oh, let me get out of here so she can do her up, down, and jump jumps. She's an 18. At home, viewers, where you're at. Comment below. Well, maybe not right now. No, because you're working out. We'll wait for it. We'll wait for it. Here we go. Good. Ribs pull down on these push presses. Good. As she brings her object down, she's going right into the next push press. Using momentum. Smart. Get it over with. When she's done, she's going to hold on to it and go right into her front squats. This is where Tiffany's going to catch her breath. Yeah, what up and what up, y'all? Thanks for tuning in. All right, you have three minutes left. Come on. Three. Keep moving. Yes. Jumping's fun, isn't it? Oh, yeah, so fun. <laughs> Just keep breathing. Keep breathing. Come on. Good. Dip drive. Yep. Overhead, a little bit of the shrug of the shoulders. Make sure the elbows are locked out. Eyes forward. You breathe. You keep moving. As Tiffany steps back, she's in a high plank. She's keeping her core pull in nice and tight. Shoulders directly over wrists. 
Stepping back, engaging the quads, squeezing the glute, getting stronger every single step back, up, down, she does. Two minutes left, ladies. Two minutes left, I hope you are. Keep it up. Come on. Good. Claire's catching your breath right now, working through these body weight, object weight, front squats, whatever you need to do. If the object is too much, just come to regular front squats. These really aren't front squats. These are air squats. But we can make them front squats if I bring my hands out in front of me. Why not? Yeah. Knees out. Push your hips back. Sit down low every single time. You have one minute and 20 seconds left. Go. Come on. Time to go. Time to go. Leave it all on the floor, ladies and gentlemen. You will feel better once you're done. Push it. Come on. Go faster. Move quicker. Let's go. Let's go. 45 seconds. Come on. There we go. There we go. Look how fast it's moving. That's awesome. Here we go. Claire, finish up down. Tuck jump. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Fire. Guess what? 30 more seconds. Keep moving. Finish those push presses. Go right into your front squat. Step it up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, okay, we got workout brain going on right now. 20 seconds. Can you get all your reps in in these last 20 seconds? Finish what you're doing. Come on. You have 15 seconds. Woo! -wee. Let's go, Patricia. Stay with it. For eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Woo! Air high fives. Catch your breath. Walk around your living room. Walk around the studio if you're here. Catch your breath. Yeah, just walk around. Walk around, catch your breath. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good symptoms. Guess what? There's more. That's right. <laughs> We're gonna do a finisher today. Still working through maybe a little bit of fatigue, but you will get stronger. Have a seat if you need to. Three. Turn the music down a bit. Okay. So the finisher. It's going to be a single arm high pull with a very slow descent. Eight on each side. And then we have eight half raises. And then a tuck pull, which is one of those. Woo! Yeah, you have three sets. Ladies, go ahead and grab your object. Starting on the right arm. I'm going to do it with you with my air object. <laughs> go ahead and stand up with your object. Full extension. Good. Tiffany, I'm going to have you face the front. Claire, I'm going to have you face the side. Just so you can see. So give me a high pull with the right arm. Hold it up. Elbow high and outside. Slowly descend. For three, two, one. High pull up. And bring it down. For three, two, one. High pull up. Bring it down. For three, two, one. High pull up. Bring it down. For three, two, one. High pull up. Bring it down for a three, two, one, three more up. Bring it down for a three. Resist it. One, pull it up. Got it, ladies. Three, two, one, one more, pull it up. And bring it down for a three, two, one. Let's switch it to the other side. So flip the other way for me. So Claire, you face front. Tiffany, you face the side. Just or just, you know, for funsies. Here we go. Left side, pull your shoulders back. Pull the rib cage down. Squeeze your butt. Here we go. Left side, pull it up. 
and slowly lower for three, two, one. Pull it up, slowly lower for three, two, one. Pull it up and lower, two, one. Pull it up and lower, two, one. Four more, it's up, slowly lower, lower, lower. Pull it up, slowly lower, 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 two, one. Down, 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 last one, up, and lower it for three, two, one. Put down your object, work in your traps, work in your shoulders, good. So cat raises. If you have an object at home, we have this yoga block that you can elevate your feet on. You are welcome to use that, or you can just use the floor. You have eight calf raises. Let's do it together. Ready, lift. Up, come down. And two, come down. Three, down. Four, down. Five, down. Six, down. Seven, down. And eight, down. Good job. On the floor for a tuck hold. What you were looking for, and face to side, you're doing amazing, ladies, is we are 90 degrees. I will talk you through it once you're in it. Go ahead and lay down on your back. Bring your legs up to a tabletop position. So knees directly over hips, angles right in line with your knees. Go ahead and pull your shoulders off the floor and reach forward, and you are in it. This is a tuck hold. Looking to keep your legs at 90 degrees. So push your knees a little bit away from your body. Keep your knees directly over your hips. Breathe. Keep your ankles right in line with your knees. Breathe. Pull your upper body, your shoulders off the floor. Good. Chin away from your chest. Eyes on your thighs. You're here for 20 more seconds. Stretch your fingertips forward. You breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Breathe with us, Jerry. In through your nose. Out through your mouth, hold it for five seconds, stay with it for three, hold it, two, hold it, one, and relax. Good job. All right, ladies, stand on up. At home, you are stand up. We're going to do that again. That's right. Grab your object. You have eight single arm high pulls. The idea is fast high pull, slow to lower. Ready? Grab your object right side, three. Two, one, go. It's up, down, two, three. 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 Up, down, two, three, one more. Up, down, two, three. Left side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. It's up, down, two, three, and up, down, two, three. Pull it up, down, two, three, and up, down, two, Three. It's up, down, two, three. Pull it up, down, two, three. Go up, down, two, three. One more, it's up, and down, and down, and rest. Calf raises coming up. You have eight calf raises. Are you ready, Cooper? Are you ready, Rebecca? Let's do eight of these together. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's up. And down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push that object out of the way if you had it. Get on the floor. 45 second tuck hold. If you want to, you can hold your weighted object over your head. I just thought of that. I know. So who's going to go for it? Right. Let's just try it. Let's see what happens. All right, are we ready? Going in three. Going in two. 
One and go. Good. Still trying to keep your shoulders off the floor. Good. Hold it right here. Tiffany, pull your knees in just a little bit. Yes. They have got this all day. So what's happening is the object is forcing them down, but they're now saying, oh, 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 no, you don't. I'm going to keep pushing up. Upper body's holding the object. Arms are locked out. Abs are working. Breathing in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Hold it for 15 more seconds. Breathe in. Breathe out. Can you lift a little bit higher? Good. Can you hold it just for five more seconds? Yes, you can. For three, stay with it. Two, hold it. One, and rest. Very nice work. Guess what? One more time. Stand up. Let's go. Finishing off your Monday strong, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it, Rosie. Grab your object. Let's face the camera for this final one so they can see how excited you are. This is the last round. Grab your object, right hand. Stand up, pull the shoulders back, pull your ribs down. Here we go. Fast pull for up and down. Two, three. Pull it up, 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 down. Two, three, last one, up, down, two, three, left side, final side, double check, shoulders back, ribs down, and we go left side, three, two, one, pull it up, down, two, three, 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 here we go, down, two, Three, up, down, two, three, up, down, two, three, last one, up, down, two, and three. Object out of the way. Half raises on or off an object. If you're doing it on books, maybe. Cat litter, I don't know, something, your pouch, a curb. Here we go. And lift, down. Two, down, three, four, one, five, six, seven, eight. Get it out of the way. Okay, your final tuck hold, with or without your object, it is completely up to you. This is your final 45 seconds, and then we're going to take it into a stretch. Decide what you'd like. Are we ready? They're going for it. They're going Do for it. it. Of course they are. Ballers, you in three, two, one. You are in it, ladies and gentlemen, at home viewers. This is your final tuck hold. Working on getting your core strong. Swimsuit season is coming. It is right around the corner. We will help you get ready for the summer season. Just picture it. You're on a beach right now. Laying in the nice, cool sand, you can hear the ocean behind you, the waves just crashing on the beautiful coral, the wind is blowing by, you have 15 seconds before you're going to jump in the water to cool yourself off, keep holding, bring your shoulders up a little bit higher, pull the belly in just a little bit more, hold it for three, for two, for one, and bring it down, good, go ahead and stay on the floor. Sit yourself up and extend your legs long, and just reach forward, grab your toes. Yeah, yeah, totally. Just grab your toes for a moment, relax your neck and head down. Good. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Again, inhale in. Exhale out. Bring yourself up. Turn yourself around, so just legs around, and we're going to go into child's pose. Open your knees, stretch your arms out in front of you. Looking to push your hips back, to stretch your arms forward, and breathe, ladies and gentlemen. 
If this is uncomfortable with your arms out wide, play with it. Bring them in, maybe put them by your side. It is completely up to you. Thread in the needle, take your right arm, thread it through the left side of your body. So between your left arm and your left knee and put your right ear on the floor. Still working on pushing your hips back, stretching your right arm through your left arm on top. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. One more inhale. On this exhale, slowly unthread, come back to center, hold it for a breath, in and out. Let's go to the other side, left hand, stretch it through. Good, still push your hips back, turn your left side head, your ear on the floor, stretch your right arm forward, stretch your left arm forward, knees out, hips back, inhale in, exhale out. Again, inhale, exhale. One final one, we come out of it, inhale. Exhale, unthread your left arm, come back to center for one more breath, ladies and gentlemen. See if you can stretch your arms out a little bit more, push your hips back a little bit more, sink into it, inhale in. Exhale out. Use your hands to walk yourself up and back. And just sit on your heels so we can open up the ankles. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. If you weren't able to see us live or these times don't work, you can look at these videos on our YouTube channel, The Newman Essay. So please, please subscribe. We want to see you. We want to be at home in your living rooms with you. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day. We'll see you next time. Bye.